trying to show you something. Let me know if you can see it at the Oracle VA. Right. Okay, you can see it. Good. So I am at the Oracle VA across all social media platforms. All right. Another thing, optimization. So whenever they do that search, you find Victor and Young. All right. And you find the Oracle VA. You find the two. Very, very important for you. All right. So know your keywords. Know how to use them frequently in your bio. All right. Your bio on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram should not be different. As much as possible, your bio should agree. So that when these words are used, all right, it will just appear everywhere. All right. Some of you are John Bassi on Instagram. Then you are John Victor Bassi on Facebook. Right. And you are um what are that name now what i meant you are victor bassi on twitter you right three different platforms three different names no optimization all right so use the same names use the same keywords okay and optimize them as much as possible right across all these platforms so that's basically what you should do to help your visibility right now uh Social media is all about people, right? They are human beings on the other side, right? They are talking to. So you want to attract them. You want to engage them before you try converting them. Okay? So you attract them with the good content that you're posting. You attract them with the value, maybe the fine pictures, the, uh, the beautiful videos, the value that those videos you know, are providing. So you attract them with those right so when they come and they're interacting on the page you engage with them too all right so you would have done all of that and you would build a relationship that you now try to convert okay so it's like marriage you don't meet the girl the first day and say hey sweetie marry me mm -mm. you meet her you engage with her you talk to her you go out you buy ice cream you buy puff puff you drink zobo right then gets to a time and you don't say hey will you marry me right so that's the same thing so the way a man woos a woman right is the exact way a businessman should woo a customer attract engage then convert all right but before you can attract your audience you need to first know your audience so to know your audience, pretty simple. Who are those people, or rather, you know your customers? Who are those people who would readily buy your product? Who wants to buy your product? All right? Who wants to buy your product? So who are they? Where are they? Where do they spend time? All right? Who wants to buy your product? Who can afford your product? Who has a need for that product? These are the three key things three key characteristics for those you should call your customers or those you should call um what's the word your audience or people you want to sell to okay three key things one you should have a need for your product two they should be able to afford it three they should be willing to afford it all right these are very very important things okay so you need to know these people know who they are know where they are all right, and know um, how would I put it now. Know the kind of language that they have, or the kind of communications that they have. Let me give an example. You know that there is, you know that you can use Facebook and Twitter for free, right? You know that you can't use Instagram for free, right? There's no free Instagram platform, but you can use Facebook and Twitter for free all this opera mini and all that okay you can use instagram for free okay good so now you think about this those that would probably buy from you you know willing to spend money they might not be those that are actually using twitter and instagram for free you know i'm not saying they will not but i'm saying they might not 
all right so you probably have to look for those that are actually willing to pay first for the platform they are using so if they're not willing to pay as in pay for internet data and all of that right it might be difficult to get them to pay for something on the platform i don't know if that makes sense all right so no matter how um how um no matter how good land in banana island is right the guy that lives in a jiggle that is struggling to feed himself will not probably be able to afford the banana island house do you get what i'm saying right so it's the same thing those that are using 